Hey, Tailwind CSS version 4 is out. I'm sure you've already heard a lot of good things about it. One of the biggest changes that has been introduced in this version is the CSS first configuration. Earlier, you used to customize your theme using JavaScript in this file called tailwind.config.js. Now you do it in a CSS file. So today we're going to see how to quickly add some custom colors in your Tailwind CSS file instead of JavaScript. So here's a web page, a simple web page for a chocolate store. We have an image, a heading, a text and a button. And here's the markup as you can see. And this project structure, you can see here, this markup is within the public folder. And this is the input Tailwind CSS file. So all you do here is import Tailwind CSS. Earlier, you had to import base um, utilities and components, but now that's replaced with a single import at Tailwind CSS line. And this is the file that is taken, processed by Tailwind, and you get the styles.css, this huge file that you see here, which is linked in our index.html at the top. Right, so any customization that you do now has to be done in this single tailwind.css file. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. Usually it is in the project root. Now, how do we do it? So here to customize your theme, you use the at theme directive. This is a new one. And within this, all you have to do is add CSS variables. You define CSS variables based on the Tailwind namespace for each of the utilities and you get new utility classes. So let's say we have this heading and we would definitely like to show it in a chocolate color. So let's add a custom color called chocolate. This can be done using the color namespace and you can give the name of the color that you wish to use. I would like to call it chocolate, of course color chocolate and here comes the value that is uh, the color code in hex, RGB, OKLCH, OKLab, anything you wish. So here let's say I want to include a shade of chocolate something like 865636C that's a shade of chocolate. So we have defined a new CSS variable. Now if you go to your index.html uh, your markup this utility is immediately available for you. So you can say text chocolate. See, this is already available in the auto suggestions. You can also see the little color here. So I say text chocolate and let me see. It's immediately changed to the chocolate color. Of course, you can even change the background. You can use this chocolate color as a shadow. This color is available for all, for all the places that you'd like to use them. So let's also change the button color from slate 700 to chocolate. And there you go. Of course, if you'd like to use the similar syntax of Tailwind, like say you'd like chocolate 100, chocolate 200 and so on, you can do that. Um, but generally for custom colors, you might have a light, a medium and a dark. So instead of 100, 200, let's add a color chocolate dark. So if you'd like to use a darker shade, let's give it a hex code of, I'm obviously looking it up, I don't remember it, 633F31. All right, and now you can add a darker shade. So let's say you want to hover over this button and show that dark chocolate background. So you say hover, yes, the new colors are available on hover modifiers, responsive modifiers everywhere, as you might have done before in earlier Tailwind versions as well. So now you have both of these available, BG Chocolate Dark, and let's see. Yeah, there you go. So that's how easy it is to add some custom colors to your project.